Division of the 16th attempt, and they did it in sensational fashion, beating Queen's Park Rangers in front of a home crowd of 14,000. They were reduced to 10 men after only 18 minutes when midfielder Luke Nyholt was dismissed for dissent. But the battling 10 held out QPR and then snatched the lead on 37 minutes when Scott headed home his second goal in only his second match for the club. Queen's Park Rangers wish it hadn't. Swindon win their first game in the Premiership, but they did it the hard way. Down to 10 men after only 18 minutes, then battling out a 1-0 win. Keith Scott with the priceless goal, his second in successive games. It was from the way this long for it to happen because we don't deserve this, you know. And as I said, there's been many people writing into newspapers and things like that saying that um, there's no spirit in the team. Oh, are they joking or what? I mean, spirit. Have you ever seen spirit like we've got here? Yes, well done, Swindon. A league win at the 16th time of trying. Spirit. A sending off for Dutchman Luke Nyholt marred a special night in Wiltshire for Swindon Town. His dismissal came 20 minutes into the game for a second bookable offence. He'd already poleaxed Trevor Sinclair two minutes earlier. When Swindon won promotion via the playoffs at the end of last season, Keith Scott was still playing in the GM Vauxhall Conference with Wickham. He hardly looks out of place in the Premiership. This was his second goal for his new club since his transfer a week ago. More importantly, it gave Swindon real hope of clinching their first win in the Premiership since promotion. The celebrations which greeted their goal would have graced an FA Cup final. It was a long wait between Keith Scott goal and the final whistle. It's been an even longer wait for Swindon to taste league success. The last league victory came on April the 12th. At least that's one thing that manager John Gorman can cross off his Christmas list. Oh no, it's great because we've had um, some hard times and we've, we've had Arthur to be strong and the players have had to be strong and they're delighted for me and for themselves and from, for the club itself and for the fans because um, you know, nobody likes to be laughed at, especially for the football. And at this time, when everybody's been saying that there's something wrong in football, to see a team like Swindon play the football that they do, we should be given more credit than we deserve, than, than we um, than we get. But all of a sudden now, if we win a couple of games, people will start giving us a lot of credit. We, we should just because you lose a game doesn't mean you say you don't play well. Because there's 90 minutes, and you've seen that game tonight. A lot happens in 90 minutes. And Queen's Park Rangers produced an admirable display of character. Pull away. Looking for Ferdinand again. Oh, it's off the bar! Tremendous header coming in there from... Uh, was that Holloway that got the header in? Oh, it's come out of Bowden again from uh, Scott. That's not a bad ball in, the header there, it's there! I think Scott got the last touch. Two goals in two games for Keith Scott. And Swindon Town take the lead. 36 minutes gone, the nine men go one up. Tensions running high. A little push by Bardsley on Scott again. And there it is, it's all over. What a victory for Swindon Town, a night of history as Swindon Town register their first ever victory in the Premiership. No, it was thoroughly deserved, Colin. Um, shouldn't have, as I said, we shouldn't have waited this long for it to happen because we don't deserve this, you know. And as I said, there's been many people writing into newspapers and things like that saying that um, there's no spirit in the team. Oh, are they joking or what? I mean, spirit. Have you ever seen spirit like we've got here? I mean, to be knocked continually um, for being bought in the league when we don't deserve to be because we've been saying it all along. And thankfully, you've, you're one of the people that's been backing us up. Um, we've proved again that, that against all the odds that we can do it. It's um, a weighted win by everybody. Tremendous scenes after the game of great jubilation. You'd have thought they'd have won the cup. And you hope that they draw on Saturday, one in midweek, that that just might be the catalyst that, that starts them going and they can get some points now. Do you think it is the turning point? I mean, will it not be the turning point when they put two or three games together? And that's then we'll really see the signs that they're, they're, they're yes, getting Yes, that's off. what they need to do. It's important that they have now broken that psychological barrier of not having won before. They've broken that now. That's all history now. And they can go on and, and hopefully put a bit of a run behind them. Because it is about winning and losing habits. 
and you get into the habit of losing, sometimes it changes for a lucky reason or a well-deserved win, 